What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and today we're at it again with another video. Today we're working with the Oculus Quest virtual reality gaming system, which I'm a big fan of. Now virtual reality is an amazing experience worth sharing with others, but it can be difficult to create content if you are unable to do it effectively. Now this video isn't only important because we're demonstrating how to transfer our Oculus Quest video recordings, but we're also showing how to transfer them from the Oculus Quest to the Pixelbook Go, which is a Chromebook made by Google. But of course, there is a catch. Now this is an important detail. If you've been watching the channel for some time, you know that I edit all my videos on a Chromebook, but now we're gonna be editing our virtual reality content on a Chromebook as well. Now this is important because we want people to know you can do this kind of stuff on a Chromebook. So all things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are on my Pixelbook Go and I have the Oculus Quest connected to my Pixelbook Go with a USB cable, just how you would with your smartphone if you're trying to transfer files. Now, when it comes to the Oculus Quest, transferring screenshots from the Oculus Quest to the Chromebook isn't a problem, that works perfectly. But when it comes to transferring video shots from the Oculus Quest to the Chromebook, we run into an issue. So I'm gonna scroll up here, I created a test folder and I've got a lot of video clips here. They're on the Oculus Quest, but we just wanna drag one to the actual Chromebook. So I'm gonna click on this and we're gonna drag it. Okay, so our transfer is complete here. We can go to our folder on the Chromebook and you can see the file is here. We've got the size, we've got the type, but when we go to play it, we're just gonna get a black screen. Nothing's going to happen. And unfortunately, we can't use this clip like this. Now, the other thing I noticed when looking at the clip on the Chromebook here is you have this little video picture here. Normally, there would be an actual picture of what's happening in that scene and you don't see anything. So now that we've demonstrated the problem, we need to demonstrate how to get the video recordings onto your Chromebook so they are actually usable. So here we are in the Oculus Quest environment and this is the home screen. So the first thing we would need to do is to create a video shot to even get to our Chromebook eventually. So we would click on sharing here and then we would click on record and this would start recording a video shot. Now, if you wanted to do a screenshot, you would just click on the take photo and there's a timer and it counts down and then it would take the photo. Now to end the video recording, you hit the record button again, that would end the video recording, it would create a video shot, and then that would save it into the Oculus Gallery. So we can go ahead and click on the Oculus Gallery, and then we can go ahead and click on internal storage. And this is where all our video shots and screenshots would be saved. So again, the goal of this video is to transfer a video shot from the Oculus Quest to our Chromebook. And if you remember earlier in the video, I did say there was a catch. So let's go ahead and get to that. So again, on the bottom here, we've got the navigation bar and we're gonna click on camera roll. And this is going to show our recent things. We can actually scroll through here. And as you see, we've got everything that was shown in that Oculus Gallery earlier. But we're gonna click on this one and you're gonna see this show up. So you need Facebook to actually transfer your Oculus Quest video shot to Facebook to download it to your Chromebook. Now this makes sense because if you didn't know, the Oculus Quest is actually made by Facebook and really it's their way of tying you back to Facebook. Anyway, so now that we have this video shot selected, we can click share to Facebook and then we'll get a message on the screen. It'll say, we'll let you know as soon as the video is finished uploading to Facebook. And that's pretty much it for this portion in the VR headset. So here we are on Facebook. This is my profile. This is where I would see my feed. I would edit things. Now, if we go to the top right here, we're gonna have our notifications. We can click on that and we could see that our newest video was uploaded to Facebook. We can watch that now and we can actually click on that if we wanted to. And you can see this is going to look pretty good. Now, of course, the goal is to download that video shot from Facebook to our Chromebook. So we're gonna go to this little arrow here, click on that, that's going to create a drop down, and then we can go ahead and click on settings. Now on the left side here, we're going to have your Facebook information, we'll click on that, 
And then we're gonna click on access your information. Now this is in the photo and video category, so we can click on photos and videos, and then we'll go to your videos. Now once we're here, we can actually download our video by just hovering above it and clicking this pencil. It'll say edit or remove. And then we wanna download in the highest quality possible. So we've got download HD, we can click on that. And then it's actually going to bring us to a viewing of the video. So we'll click on the three dots again, and then we'll click on download. And then we're going to save this where we would like to. I would recommend renaming the file. You can see that was a really long file name. And I'm just going to put on here how to video, and then we'll click save. So now that that's saved, we can click on show in folder and then we'll have our how to video.mp4. We can click on that and you can see this is actually going to play now and the quality actually looks good. We can make this bigger. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't fill up the whole screen, which is what I would like. Maybe you could play with this and crop this in a video editor, but this is pretty much it. This is how you get this video shot from your Oculus Quest to your Chromebook, and then you can throw it into the PowerDirector video editor and you can create virtual reality gaming content. So final thoughts, if you're going to pick up the Oculus Quest, it's important to remember that this device is made by Facebook. Currently, this means that you're going to have to create a Facebook account if you want to transfer your video shots from the Oculus Quest to a Chromebook. Now, when we talk about the Oculus Quest, we can also refer to it as Facebook. And as you can see, Facebook doesn't make it easy to transfer content from the Oculus Quest to a Chromebook. The interesting thing about the Oculus Quest is that Facebook doesn't currently offer Google Drive or Google Photos on the Oculus Store. So what that means is you can't back up media to Google Drive or Google Photos. Now, of course, you can connect your Oculus Quest to a Chromebook with a USB cable, but you currently can't view the video shots once they're transferred to the Chromebook. All of this really isn't a surprise. Again, the Oculus Quest is owned by Facebook. And really, this is Facebook's way of locking you into their ecosystem. Now, there are two good things I could say about this transfer method. And the first thing is that I can back up my video shots to another source other than the Oculus Quest. The other good thing about this transfer method is I don't need a USB cable to transfer my video shots from the Oculus Quest to the Chromebook, it's all done over the internet, and then I just download it to the Chromebook. With that being said, I'm glad that we can transfer our video shots to something other than a Windows or a Mac. We can also transfer to a Chromebook. Now this is a revolution in gaming and technology. This is a statement that says you don't need high-end hardware to play or share content. This can be seen with Stadia, which comes in at an affordable price, and it also doesn't include a whole bunch of hardware that you have to maintain. What this means is more people will be able to experience the joy of gaming and sharing content. Wrapping things up, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to head on over to my Amazon storefront by clicking the link in the description below. I only put things on the Amazon storefront that I have bought or would like to buy, and anything that you buy off the storefront does support the channel. The next way you can support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to support the channel is just by hitting that subscribe button. Now, liking and subscribing are important. It is your way to vote on whether you like the video or the channel. If new viewers see a lot of likes and subscribers, they may think that people enjoy the videos and find the channel worth watching. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out.